The game got off to a quick start with England counters making their presence felt as they broke through the Knots defence in just the third minute. They were able to convert the chance though, putting them five points ahead early on. Despite not finding their feet after being set back early, England found themselves on the board again in the 28th minute off the back of this fine driving maul. This time they're able to convert, putting a gap of 12 points between themselves and knots. However, the green and white determination paid off, almost mirroring England's second try of a driving mall of their own in the 34th minute. Not sure was convert their effort, cutting the lead to just five points with half time just around the corner. In overtime in the first half though, England found their third try of the match with some quick hands at the back of a mall. The kick had his eye in as he was able to convert, reasserting the 12 points advantage going into half time. The continuous England attack in the first half had left them in the driving seat, but the Green and Whites weren't out of the contest just yet. 13 minutes into the second half, not sure able to find the try they needed after some fancy hands and footwork to break through the England defence. With the follow up conversion, Notch found themselves five points behind once again. England's position was further compromised in the 59th minute with a sin bin tackle during the breakdown of their attack. With the extra man, Notch were hoping to pile on the pressure. However, despite pushing them back, they were unable to break them and were hit with a sucker punch. In the 69th minute, England found a gap and, with some excellent individual running, were able to reopen the gap. Not's efforts were hurt more as England robes convert the try, re-establishing their 12-point cushion. A lifeline was shown to Knotts in the 76th minute as they were able to drive over the line despite the ref not being convinced at first. Knots were unable to convert for the first time of the night though, leaving them five points adrift. Despite putting up a late fight, Knots weren't able to get over the line as England came resurgent and pinned Knots back. However, Knots defence remained strong, keeping them out, leaving the final score Knots 19, England 26. Reflecting on the match, Matt Everard wasn't disheartened by his players' performance though. That's the game for your guys and the scoreline very close. Do you think it was something that your guys deserved or are you hoping for a bit more, especially that second half performance? Um, you know, I thought the second half performance was fantastic. I think we probably made a le left a little bit too much out there. Um, first half, a few things we didn't get quite right. Uh, our discipline was a bit off and, and that punished us in the end. 
And you go on about this play in the first half, there were those three tries that put you behind quite early on. But yeah. the second half you came out, your boys showed defensively and offensively what they can do. Yeah, I thought we had uh, two defensive sets in the second half that were back-to-back -back that gave us kind of the opportunity to go and win the game. You know, I thought you know, the standard of the D um, and some of the intent and the intensity and, and the desire by the lads was, you know, second to none and I can't really ask for any more than that. And a nice way to finish off your season as well and nice to kick on into next season as well for you. Yeah, you know, that's uh, an international side and some of the best players of their age in the country. So it's a great test for us boys to go up against and, you, yeah, you're absolutely right for us to use that as a stepping stone into next year. And a very good attendance for you to come out again. We saw last, last time a similar turnout. Are you happy to see as many people come out and support your guys through these games? Yeah, I'd absolutely love <clears throat> love, to, love to thank the, the guys that came out and support, you know, uh, the, the Everlow and Notch fans and, and, you know, the parents, the families of, of the, the guys that drive them up and down the country uh, every week and are always there cheering us on. We've got, you know, we're very, very lucky to have an absolutely uh, outstanding set of parents and families that support us uh, all over the place. Thank you very much, Matt. Cheers, Joe. Thanks, mate.